Alright, so today we are out in Blue State Park. Finally got here. Uh, and we're just gonna we're gonna check out some stuff. It's a uh, pretty terrible weather, but you know the main species we're seeing today um, are still encountered a decent amount with higher water. So uh, hopefully this will affect our chances of seeing things too much, right? Dude, this is sick. This is just like at the beach, except on a much larger scale. When the clams get washed in and then they dig themselves into these little holes. That's its foot right there. Okay, First, hurt that I was really able to like get up close with this big Gulf State to Gulf Coast toad from under this little rock right here. It's actually got some pretty stunning pattern on it, but I don't think I'm gonna take any pictures because I don't want to mess with this guy longer than I have to. Right? He's not anything super crazy. But I'm just gonna put him back and we're gonna move on. Um, one thing I did notice though is there's just a whole bunch of litter everywhere. It's just it's just really sad to see because there's just beautiful, beautiful freshwater beaches. And they're just littered with this trash. But um, it's not too bad. We're gonna keep going. Uh, hopefully we'll see something, something really cool. I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. Next over the day is just a little dude out on the crawl. It looks like a mud turtle. Um, we can tell, yeah, it's a mud turtle. He has a hinged plaster on. Definitely a little eastern mud turtle of some kind. We're gonna move him behind this root in case anybody comes down here with a bike. Uh, probably wouldn't do too much damage. That was a nice thing of thunder. But uh, we don't want him to get injured either way. So we'll just move him beyond that route. But uh, nice little dude out on the crawl there. Uh, hopefully we'll see some more stuff. I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. All right, fellas. Well, I spent a bit trying to puzzle my way into where the boardwalk was. And then I remembered about all the hurricanes and stuff and realized, oh wait, that probably doesn't exist anymore. Um, I did see a lot of wreckage, a lot of boards and stuff um, where it was supposed to be. So I'm assuming that's what that was. Kind of sucks, but can't complain, I guess. Um, yeah, we're gonna check out over here and see if we can find anything, I guess. I will check back in with you guys later. And next we have this dude with his vivid red ears. Uh, he's right in front of the water bottle. Kind of see the bottom of his jaw. There's a lot of little turtles along these banks. All right, and as I'm walking up, they're just kind of spooking into the water. So Fountain Blue was super unsuccessful, but now there's this nature center place nearby, so we're going to check it out. Um, we're going to see what we can find. We're already off to a much better start than Fountain Blue State Park, because in Fountain Blue State Park, um, even though it's really cool and great, um, the trails didn't look this cool. They were harder to find and travel on. And also, just going to throw this out there, for some reason over here, there's just way less biting flies. And that's not something that I ever at all ever factor into oh man into um my 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 su suggestions of like where to go what trails to choose and whatnot this is cool all right it was definitely worth worth a stop here also i've been to fountain blue before once i ran on one of the trails for a cross-country meet we didn't really like I, I didn't get to really explore the park but it's a lot less big than I thought it was, A. B, um, I found about as much when I was there for a cross-country meet as I did when I was there looking for stuff. Uh, this is a new place. I'm exploring it for the first time, and also it looks really promising. So hopefully we will be able to capture some herp life. And maybe, because for some reason it seems like it's been impossible lately, but maybe we'll even be able to see a snake. Crazy. That's cool. That's a devil horse right there. Big lubber grasshopper. If it wasn't for the fact that the lighting is so terrible, I would totally take out my, my camera and get a picture of that, but I don't feel like it. Anyways, I'm going to keep you all out because I did see a little slider or map turtle, some turtle of some kind, swimming about at the top over there, who is definitely going to go under as soon as we get close. I might be able to identify him while I'm walking. You know, figure out. This is a sign I have not seen often. So, this is, this is really good. This is, they, they got the, the row count of the scales. This is, I am thoroughly impressed with this whole thing. I heard, but this is, they, they have some pretty spectacular looking, uh, I guess I'll have to put my hand behind so we can see it. 
Looking at orb weavers, though. I know it didn't come out like that on the camera, but uh, it's bright red and yellow in real life, which is really, really cool looking. All right, so we don't have a whole lot of ground to cover, but I have it embedded in my head that this is a good spot for Mississippi green water snakes. I don't know what that's based on, so that could be completely false, but we're gonna see. Maybe I'll get my life from Mississippi green today. All right. Definitely gonna be really painful, but I found the first snake of the day. Um, it's huge diamondback water snake just chilling out right here. You can barely see its scales just over that ridge there. Oh, that is a big snake. Oh my gosh, that is gonna be so painful. Let me figure out how to deal with this. All right. This is probably one of the biggest diamondbacks I've ever caught. Um, although I don't think I'm going to be able to get it to pose for pictures, we might as well try. I just think I'm going to set it right there after I grab my camera, let it go, and we'll try to get some pictures before it inevitably swims back into the water. But as you can see, we're not going to hold her too long because she's clearly just eaten, but this is a very large diamondback, which is why I'm pinning her. Typically I don't pin snakes, but uh, a bite off of this thing would hurt really bad. So we're just going to set her down over there, and then we're going to let her do her thing. We're going to try to get pictures of it. All right, well, I'll see you guys in a bit. She appears to have chilled out for a second, so we're gonna go ahead and put her back. What's up? Yes, sir. Diamondback water snake, non-venomous. Um, come again? Nah. If she wanted to bite me, she would have done it. So check this out right here. Um, we saw this last time we went to Tickfall. Here we have little turtle eggs, I believe, based off of the way that hole is dug. I'm gonna assume these are sliders of some kind because they don't look very spherical, but again, I, I'm, I'm not really a turtle guy, so I kind of, very loose idea. But we're gonna keep on moving on and hope that we see a snake of some kind. Another one. <laughs> see you guys in a bit. All right, snake and snake of the day. I was really hopeful. I thought he was a Mississippi green. It was a little baby diamondback who was hiding out under this tarp. Um, I mean, we're gonna put him right back. I don't even think this one gets a voucher shot. But, uh, second snake of the day. Second diamond back. Let him chill out under there. I'll see you guys in a bit. will be all for today. I'm gonna go ahead and head in. Um, I'll let y'all know if I see anything interesting on the way back and have to stop, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, we didn't find our target for today, which was the Mississippi Green Water Snake and or the Salt Marsh Snake, but, but, we had a lot of fun. We found a couple of new places that I will check out in the future. Overall, it was a pretty good trip. Hey, it's Dominic McGee here with Louisiana Herps. Uh, and on my way home from my nanny's house, I was helping her kill a wasp. I decided to stop by a stream that I hasn't visited no, ha, that I haven't visited in a while. And I saw this little guy digging into the dirt, and I went down and grabbed him. I am 90% certain that this is a spiny soft shell. I could be wrong. It might be just a smooth soft shell that's weirdly ovular and with an odd pattern. But I'm pretty sure that this is a spiny soft shell, and you can tell that by the little little spines forming along his upper carapace there. But um, yeah, this is a little spiny soft shell, I'm not certain. Uh, it is not my lifer of this species, but it's going to be the first one that I'm able to get pictures to. So it will go on my life list for the first time ever for a spiny soft shell turtle. Uh, these little sandy bottom creeks that they can dig into are really great for it. Uh, something I did to grab this guy is I got out of my car, closed it, um, and then came down here, abandoned my shoes because I was wearing slides, uh, and then find a, find a way to make myself go down the sharp rocks without stepping on anything sharp completely barefoot. Because uh, you know what? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Um, but yeah, a little spiny soft shell. I think I have my camera in my car, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. But yeah, I'm gonna get some voucher shots of this guy, uh, some lifeless photos, uh, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and release it back into the ditch. I will check back in with you guys with the next clip, whenever that may be. Guys, next turf of the day, didn't even see it here, but I was just releasing the soft shell turtle and there's a little green tree frog just sitting here. Pretty cool. Guys, just goes to show, you gotta pay attention because there's that guy right there. And this guy right here. 